You are listening to Asheville FM at WSFM LP 103.3 Asheville. Coming up next is Radioactive Kids. Radioactive Kids broadcast from the occupied lands of the Chalagi people, also known as the Cherokee. <laughs> Always that that's a, that same uh, saxophone riff. All right, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Radioactive Kids, broadcasting from Asheville FM to Asheville and the world. I am Sagan, and we have two hours of amazing independent kids music for y'all coming right up. We got new music by Andy Z, Ants on a Log, the Zambonis, Mr. Jeff, and a whole lot more. So stay tuned. It's going to be a great time. I cannot wait. Um, Let's start off, however, with a brand new single by Corey McAtee. Um, uh, This is her second single. We played her first single on the show a little while ago. She has a brand new single out, just her second release, and it's called... Rock with me on Radioactive Kids. Stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned. We have a lot of great stuff coming right up. Take a chance. You can be what you want to be. Cause this morning is when the radio is on. When the radio's on, I sing along the songs stuck in my head. Belting out a tune for the whole room, inviting others to join.
a rock and rollar a cualquier lugar Nos vamos a pasar todos fenomenal Cantaremos sobre temas diversos Que aporten valores a los niños ya mayores Los niños lo pasarán bien y los mayores también Llévame a tocar a tu pueblo ciudad Cantaremos mucho y bailaremos más Lo baila la pequeña, el papá y la mamá El abuelo, los tíos moverán los pies Las niñas lo pasarán bien y las mayores también Casas de cultura, ludoteca, ayuntamientos Piscinas, estadios, catedrales o colegios Somos muy majetes, limpios y animados Dejamos sonrisas en todos los lugares los niños lo pasarán bien y los mayores también. ¡Dale, chu! Llevan a rock and rollar a cualquier lugar. Lo vamos a pasar todos fenomenal. Cantaremos sobre temas diversos que aporten valores a los niños ya mayores. Los niños lo pasarán bien, las niñas lo pasarán bien, los niños lo pasarán bien y los mayores también.
the jellyfish. Hmm? Wait, what's that? You don't know how to wake up the jellyfish? Not really. Well, let's learn. Okay. You got a fist bump with the rock. You gotta, you gotta fist bump, bump the rock. You, you gotta, gotta fist bump, bump that rock. Because that's how we wake up the jellyfish. Jellyfish, jellyfish, dance like a jellyfish. Come on, move those arms and legs. Jellyfish, jellyfish, dance like a jellyfish. Just gotta float around a little bit like this. The jellyfish dances like this. The jellyfish dances like this. The jellyfish dances like this. The jellyfish. Dances like this. The jellyfish. Jellyfish like a wacky waving two guy. Jellyfish, jellyfish, dance like a jellyfish. Black said dance if I like. Jellyfish, jellyfish, dance like a jellyfish. Float those arms and float those legs. The jellyfish dances like this. The jellyfish dances like this. Jellyfish. Okay, jellyfish, let's go to sleep. Get down on the ground, get as low as you can, close your eyes and be quiet. Shh, 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 shh. Wake up! Come on, everybody, get up, get really tall and wake up! Okay, get back down on the ground, close your eyes, go to sleep. Sleep, jellyfish, we're all gonna be really quiet. Wake up! Shh, jellyfish, go back to sleep. Sleep, little jellyfish, sleep. Wake up! Lay your head down and rest. Shh, wake up! Jellyfish is still sleeping. Let's wake him up. Maybe if we give him a high five. Please, please, please wake up. Baby gosh. That didn't work. Maybe if we ask him really, really nicely. Hey, excuse me. Mr. Mr. Jellyfish, can you please, please, please wake, wake up? up? Well, that didn't work either. Uh, do you remember how to wake up the jellyfish? You do? Wait, what's that? You do? Please, please, please wake up. Wake up. Okay, well, listen to you. We all need to try really hard. Try really, really hard to wake up the jellyfish. Yeah. It's just very simple. You told us how to do it. You just have to fist bump the rock. Okay, I think we can do it. Are you ready? You, you got, got to fist bump, bump the rock. You, you got, got to fist bump, bump the rock. You, you got, got to fist bump, bump that rock. Because that's how we wake up the jellyfish. Jellyfish, jellyfish, dance like a jellyfish. Yay! You did it! Jellyfish dance like the jellyfish. Float those arms and float those legs. The jellyfish dances like this. 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 The jellyfish. The jellyfish. The jellyfish. The jellyfish. The jellyfish. Jellyfish. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
silly jellyfish. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That was Mr. Jeff with uh, three songs from his debut full length album, Wonderful, Wonderful, Wonderful. We heard The Jellyfish Dances Like This, Loud in the Library, and Playing on the Playground. Before that, we heard a brand new single by P- P- Patapun from Spain. We heard Yeva Me A Rockin' Royar on Radioactive Kids. And we started the show off with Rock With Me by Corey McAtee on the show. I am saying my pronouns are they, them, theirs, and you're listening to Radioactive Kids broadcasting from Asheville FM. I hope you're having a great time on today's show. Let's calm it down a little bit with a brand new single by Jesse Balin from the upcoming deluxe edition of her uh, album Strawberry Wind. This is a brand new song. It's called Big Feelings on Radioactive Kids. Come on, let's go.
In the early morning light, I can see her colors bright. Outside my room, I know it's time. I remember that first night when I saw her wings take flight, shimmer in the sky. I took a ride. She's got that purple hair, her glittered wings catch air. We like to ride up in the clouds. I wanna fly across the sky.
Yes, that was a brand new single by Two of a Kind called Let the Light In. Hope you enjoyed that. Before that, we heard two new singles by Mama B uh, from her upcoming album Imaginology. We heard Unicorn and Puffer Fish. We started the set off with Big Feelings by Jesse Balin from the deluxe edition of her album Strawberry Wind coming out soon. I hope you're having a great time on today's show. If you would like to request a song for an upcoming edition of Radioactive Kids, please feel free to give the station a call if you're listening live on Saturday mornings. The station phone number is 828-259-3936. And you can also send me an email anytime at sagan at ashevillefm.org. Speaking of requests, we got a request uh, for an artist who I had never played before, um, but... I listened to them and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I must pl- play this artist. Um, this These songs are for Heather. Shout out to Heather. Um, she requested some songs by Sarah Maddock. So let's play some songs by her right now. This song is called Story of a Worm on Radioactive Kids. This is a story of a worm. His name was Itty Bitty. Was living in the inner city. Here's the nitty gritty. Bought ten baby cats. Made a kitty committee. Then he did a little dance. A little giddy jiggy. All night long. Getting pretty dizzy. Then he wrote a little song. A nitty bitty ditty. And it goes like this. This is a story of a worm. This is my story. Story of a worm. And you better listen. Story of a worm. I thought you had cats. I also have chickens. Okay, listen, here's the deal. He's a nitty bitty worm and he needs a meal. Been up all night, slip and slide, dance floor full of banana peels. So it's up to you and it's up to me. Gotta bring him a couple dozen Krispy Kremes. Dennis let it with his kitties in the middle of the city while he listens to his favorite story of a worm. His name was Itty Bitty, was living in the inner city. Here's the nitty gritty, bought ten baby cats, made a kitty committee. Then he did a little dance, a little giddy jiggy, all night long. Getting pretty dizzy, then he wrote a little song, a nitty bitty ditty, and it goes like that. Actually, I have a question. What? When you dance, are you doing the worm? Every dance I do is the worm. Got a call like, hey, what you thinking? Well, I was gonna wear bell bottoms and boots, but didn't want to stand out. So what about you? Well, overall, these overalls are overall my body. What? Overall, these overalls are overall my body. Huh? Overall, these overalls are overall my body. Oh. Overall, these overalls are overall my body. Now we're out on the town, getting down. Suddenly I see an old lady in a nightgown. She yells to my friend, cool pants. Looks at me and then she starts to dance and says, You better tell me what you're wearing on your body because I'm deeply curious. I said there's only one way that I'm able to say what I'm wearing and it goes like this. <gasps> overall, these overalls are overall my body. What? Overall, these overalls are overall my body. Huh? Overall, these overalls are overall my body. Oh, yeah. Overall, these overalls are overall my body. It's like half of a shirt and it's attached to pants or shorts. Oh, it's so convenient, yeah. It's statistically proven to make people trust you more. If you wanna look a little bit like 
like an art teacher or a farmer You gotta get up every morning and put on that wholesome armor And say, overall, these overalls are overall my body What? Overall, these overalls are overall my body Huh? Overall, these overalls are overall my body Yeah! Overall, these overalls are overall my body Overalls! into my room put on my shoes grab my keys put them in my pocket take one step towards the door that's when i hear a little voice that says hey watch it okay who is that i'm about to have a heart attack i look left right up down that's when i see a slug on the ground i have a moment of hesitation am i scared of the slug or the confrontation i don't know but i know i gotta handle this so i got on the ground and i said to him hey slug are you a rug slug work your way into my room like you're a tough bug need a hug slug you've had it rough but don't think you're getting any of my love because this is my room and you don't pay rent not trying to start an argument but i'm gonna need you to head to the door so you can be halfway there by four days from now never mind this might be a waste of my time but all i want to know is can you disappear because i'm gonna need you to get the slug out of here and he didn't move man they never taught us this in school like what do you do with a slug on your rug that won't budge because i got no clue but i saw that his head was not and yeah i think that he's feeling the beat it got it so we danced to our favorite song all night and it goes like hey slug are you a rug slug work your way into my room like you're a tough bug need a hug slug you've had it rough but don't think you're getting any of my love because this is my room and you don't pay rent not trying to start an argument but i'm gonna need you to head to the door so you can be halfway there by four days from now never mind this might be a waste of my time but all i want to know is can you disappear because i'm gonna need you to get the slug out of here there's a slug I'd be pretty cool with you moving in Cause I heard that you play the violin yep. Yep. And it goes yep. like Hey slug, are you a rug slug? Work your way into my room like you're a tough bug Need a hug slug? You've had it rough but Don't think you're getting any of my love Cause this is my room and you don't pay rent Not trying to start an argument But I'ma need you to head to the door So you can be halfway there by four Days from now, never mind of my time but all i want to know is can you disappear because i'm gonna need you to get the slug out of here
That was Lift Music uh, with a song called Love School on Radioactive Kids. That is from their album Homework Hits Volume 1. That is not really a kids album, but it's all instrumental. And like I randomly got a hold of a promo copy of it, so I was like, oh yeah. I'm going to play it. Hope you enjoyed that. Before that, we heard Liquid Legs, also by Lift M- Music. And we heard three songs by Sarah Maddock. Three singles by her. We heard Hey Slug, Overalls, and Story of a Worm. Again, those songs were for Heather. Thank you, Heather, for requesting those songs. All right, let's keep the music rolling with a brand new single by Andy Z. This is a new recording of an old song. It's called Mr. Sun on Radioactive Kids. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Please shine down on me Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun Hiding behind a tree These little children are asking you To please come out so we can play with you Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun Please shine down on me Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These awesome children are asking you to please come up so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Shine on me. All the scientists are running around Looking for the monkey, but he can't be found Cause he's down by the pond Playing hockey with the kids And all the mothers are running around Looking for the children, but they can't be found Cause they're down by the pond Playing hockey with the monkey And it's one, two, three Shot, there's no getting through 
I told you ten times you cannot fake out Blubber Dude. I won't get tired, cause I'll just lie on my side. So their team won't copy, I'll be signed with the deadline. Turn on channel 29, under telly. I will eliminate the chick save and only block with my belly. Ha ha ha, me and Jordan Fazino be a new sensation. The NHL cannot let me play, cause that's discrimination. What do you do with your 1500 pounds? You play goalie, but what do you do with your 1500 pounds? 
<laughs> that was Elder Wand with uh, uh, s- several very short songs from their one and only EP. I, sw- I solemnly swear I am up to no good. We heard Seven Potters, Deathly Hollows, and Chosen One on Radioactive Kids. Before that, we heard three songs by the one and only hockey themed band who are amazing and awesome, uh, the Zambonis. They have a new single out called Unforced P- Penalties, and we also heard a couple older songs by them. We heard Goalie. Featuring Adam and his package from their album Five Minute Major in D Minor. And we heard Hockey Monkey featuring James Kachalka from their Greatest Hits album. And we started that set off with Mr. Sun by Andy Z on Radioactive Kids. So, we, we've been playing a lot of rock and roll stuff, so let's calm it down a little bit. Coming out, I think, oh gosh, I think it comes out on May 31st. Yes, Ants on a Log have a new album out. They uh, just released a single from it on YouTube. It is a l- lullaby about a uh, uh, um, song to non-binary parents. And it features Strawberry Yops and Queer Kid Stuff. Uh, their new album is called Rainbow Seekers, and this song is called Mappa on Radioactive Kids. Enjoy. Mapa, won't you read to me tonight? Mapa, won't you read to me tonight? Mapa, won't you read to me? Read me a new story. Mapa, won't you read to me tonight? Ooh, Baba, won't you sing to me tonight? Baba, won't you sing to me tonight? Baba, won't you sing to me? Teach me a new harmony. Baba, won't you sing to me? Go visit our family. Zizi, let's go visit our family. Zizi, I love visiting siblings and nibblings. Zizi, let's go visit our family. You are listening to Asheville FM and WSFM LP 103.3 Asheville. This is Radioactive Kids. Letter in 
just for you. And I think you'll like them, cause it's a gift from me to you. Giving is receiving. I love giving gifts to you. Giving is receiving. I feel so happy and so
Yes, indeed, folks. Yes, indeed. That was something really cool that I just got a hold of. That is a new album by Beatrice Deer, who is an indigenous uh, 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 musician from Canada. And she just came out with a whole song of children's songs in Inuktitut, which is um, uh, a language folks speak in in. Nunavik, and the album is called Little Songs, and it is awesome. We heard Timiat, Suka Lasami, and Kinga Mia Jui Guk on Radioactive Kids. Those are kind of like reinterpretations of classic uh, um, folk songs and all sorts of stuff like that. So it is really cool to hear her making that music on Radioactive Kids. Before that, we heard a brand new single, their debut single, by a new kids artist named Jules, featuring Lori Berkner on Radioactive Kids. That song was called Giving is Receiving. And we heard a brand new song by Ants on a Log, featuring Strawberry Yops and Queer Kid Stuff from their upcoming album, Rainbow Seekers, on Radioactive Kids. Yes, indeed. We are uh, 12 minutes into our second hour of the show, and it's about to get even weirder. I love it. A couple of weeks ago, we played a few songs by Roly Poly Guacamole from their new album, Digging in the Dirt, on vinyl. Their new album, Digging in the Dirt, is actually a double album, which means there are two vinyl discs 
that uh, we can play. And we played one of them, so I figured we'll play some songs from the other one. This song is called We Are Birds by Roly Poly Guacamole on Radioactive Kids. Whoop, hang on a moment. What's happening here? Oh, whoop. Okay, I get what, I get what happened. I accidentally turned the, the, the turntable on and then turned it r- 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 right back off again. So let's try this one more time. Ah, okay. I, I, I kind of got past the beginning of the song. But hey, listen to the music. Enjoy it. This is Radioactive Kids. We're live on the air. Woohoo! Birds flying in the sky. We are birds flying way up high. How do we always wind up in?
I shall now proceed to flip the record over and play another track on the other side. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah, it's happening. I'm flipping it over. Here I go. Woo! So much flipping. One, two, three, four. Track four. Let's see if I can get it to the right spot. Let's see if this works. Oh. Oh, it worked. There we go. Everybody stop. I have an idea. What? Yeah, you know what? we're playing all this beautiful music, but I would like to try something new. Oh. Something new? Something new. Everything has been done already that ever been thought of to be done in music. See, when, we, when we're playing, there's sound that comes out of our instruments. Uh-huh. And usually a song has sound, but what if we tried a song with no sound? No nope. sound? What? And no words. What? No words? No yeah. sound or no words? Is that even no possible? Words. I think so. I've done it before. It sounds really good. Are you? Can you show us how to do it? I'll show you how to do it. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go. You see? Yeah. Wow, that oh. was really good. That's perfect. And, you really. know, I really liked the uh, the the groove that you had. I like yeah. your mouth no- look of your mouth opening and closing. 
See, there was a lot of sound, but there was no sound. Mm. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm ready yet, Dean. Do you want to try, try it? I'll try it. One, two, three, four. I, I kind of got a little messed up there at the end. Why, why don't you try it again? I got to do it one more. One, two, three, four. There. Whoa. Yeah. You know what? That was really, that was really, really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I, like, I like the three-part harmonies. <laughs> are, you, are you ready to try now, Frank? Uh, hold on. Let me think. Okay. I think I have a good idea. One, two, ready, go. Ooh. Oh. Mm. What? Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Nice! That was beautiful. You, you made that all up yourself. I've been working on it for like a minute. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Thanks. I got an idea. I think whoever's listening to this, they should make their own song. Do you think that's a good idea, Andrew? I think so. I think we should all try. Okay. Ready? Yeah, let's count them together. Ready? Right. Yeah. One, One two, two, three. three. Go! This next song is a very, very old song. In fact, it is so old that nobody knows exactly who wrote this song. Or why they would write a song like this. But when it was first written, it was called A Hundred Little Ducks. There are obviously a few, but a very few traditional music fans in the audience this evening. My partner on my right, your left, Keith Grimwood, is not much on traditional music. and. So instead of doing the traditional 100 little ducks, we're only going to do five little ducks this afternoon. You'll thank me for this. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. Ezra, I don't think they know this song very well. Perhaps you can explain the rules. After I sing, Mother Duck says, everybody is always supposed to say in their loudest, most obnoxious voices, quack, 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 quack. Four, Four simple, simple words. words. Let's try that. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 quack. Ugh. Everybody go, uh. uh. With feeling. Uh. With more feeling. But only four little ducks came back. Now, I have to warn you that we're in big trouble here because if you don't quack a lot louder than that and go, uh, with a lot more feeling than that, Ezra will sing a hundred ducks, and this will be a very long song. The four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack! But only 98 little ducks came back. He's a tough man to please. Help! The 98 little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, Quack, 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 64 little ducks came back. It's still a lot of ducks. It's pretty good. 64 little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, But only 63 little ducks came back. My fault. My fault. We gotta watch him very closely and quit going, uh, when he does, okay? He's very tricky. 63 little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, Quack, 
But only two little ducks came back. Keith. What? Why are these people clapping? I think they realize the song is almost over. <laughs> but they probably know that it's time for the competitive quacking portion of our show. First of all, I would like all the kids to be very, very quiet because it's time for the adults only quack. Kids, what I want you to do is I want you to turn and look and listen to the mature quacking voice of your parents and the other adults around you who are responsible for your welfare and safety. The two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, Very mature, I could tell. But only one little duck came back. But not very loud. Kids only this time. Show them how to do it. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, Yes! But none of the cute baby ducks came back. So said Mother Duck Went out one day Over the hills and far away Mother Duck said Quack! That was pathetic How do you expect the five baby ducks To find their way home If that's as loud as you can quack? Mother Duck said Quack! And most of the cute baby ducks came back. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. <laughs> oh, man. I was like, I don't know. I, I was like six when I first heard that song, and it cracked me up. Oh, man. That, or well, that, that version of that song, rather. Because that is the best version of the song. Oh, man, that was Trout Fishing in America singing the only version of Five Little Ducks I Want to Hear from now on call, uh, from their album Mine. Oh, man, I hope, y'all, I hope some of y'all were, were quacking and uh-ing along in uh, your living room or wherever you may be listening. Oh, yeah, before that we heard Rolly Pulley Guacamole featuring Dean Jones and Song with No Words and No Sound from their album Digging in the Dirt on Vinyl. And we also heard Uh Oh and We Are Birds, also by Roly Poly Guacamole. We're having a great time, and it's about to get even weirder on Radioactive Kids because it's time to play The Emperor's New Clothes Talking Blues by Bill Harley on Radioactive Kids. People listen up, gather round, put your things aside and sit right down. I got a story, a tale for you, I'll tell you right now. It isn't true, that's right, nothing to do with reality. It's like a memoir. An assemblage of events strung together in causal sequence, a narrative form to encourage the suspension of disbelief. In other words, don't believe a word I say. Once upon a time in some other place, in some other land, some other space. Once upon a time when the stones were soft, before the eagle was aloft, before the rabbit had a split in his nose, there was an emperor. He liked to wear clothes. Ooh-wee. Pretty exciting. He changed his outfit six times a day Every time he ate and when he went out to play He looked in the mirror and said Whoa, man, you are the best-dressed fella in this whole land You're looking good I guess the word I'm looking for is vain Very impressed with himself Happens to people in positions of power Just a story, just a story Well, one day these two fellas came along, they knocked on the door, they sang out a song, said, we want to see the emperor, we're eager as beavers, we want to make him some clothes, because we're two weavers, just back from the latest fashion show, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger. 
Well, they brought him in to the emperor's throne. They said, your highness, forget about those clothes you own. We can make you some threads. We're not fooling. When people see him, they're going to be drooling. You'll be the envy of 17 countries, 49 states, three counties, entire state of Texas, and even the Ukraine. The emperor said, hmm, well, tell me more. They said, your highness, here's what's in store. These clothes are so fine, they'll belong in a museum. What's more, if you're stupid, you can't see them. That's right, they were invisible, as Hans Christian Andersen said, to those who were unfit for office or unpardonably stupid. A line like that ought to give anybody pause, especially somebody who got there on account of their daddy being rich. That's the way it works in an oligarchy. Just a story. Emperor rubbed his chin, he gave a smile, he said, Those threads sound like they're just my style. Not only that, I'll kill two birds at once. I'll get some new threads and find out who's a dunce. He'll be all right, as long as he doesn't look in the mirror. So those two fellas set up their looms, they closed the door, said, don't come in the room. People took a peek, they scratched their heads, they couldn't see any fabric, couldn't see any threads. That's right, it was virtual weaving, textile prestidigitation, in other words, a snow job cut out of the whole cloth. Well, the emperor sent his counselor to check out the scene and they let him in, said, see what we mean? You got to admit it, these clothes can't miss. No one's ever seen clothes like this. <laughs> counselor couldn't have agreed more because he couldn't see him either. And he kept his mouth shut, didn't want to look stupid. Keep your head down, pass the buck. Later on, he resigned, said he needed to spend some more time with his family. So we went back to the emperor, he walked in the court, the emperor said, give me your report. The council said, your highness, this ain't fake news, those are beautiful things, I swear it's true. In an Orwellian sense, war is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength, people will love them. Unless they're unpardonably stupid or unfit for office or unpatriotic or unsomething. Well, those weavers kept working, pretending to sew. They sent a note to the emperor, said, Don't you know, things are looking good. These threads are neat. But we need some more money, so send it toot sweet. Don't worry about running up the deficit. Just put it in a supplemental budget. You go ahead and play another round of golf. No one will notice it till later. Well, the emperor, he got all excited. He said, If these clothes are that good, I'll have you benighted. I'm so enthused about your offers, I'm going to open up the royal coffers. We were going to save it for a rainy day, but the forecast looks good. As long as you don't listen to those scientists. Well, the day finally came when those sly deceivers that had disguised themselves as erstwhile weavers said, We're finished. We're finally done. Come gather around here, everyone. The emperor's got some new threads that are bound to turn everybody's head. Gather around, see what we made. And the emperor said, let's have a parade. <laughs> Just like one I saw in France. I'll put everything on display. <laughs> we'll call it the great unveiling. I guess so. So they came to the ruler like they were laden down with fancy pants and shirts and gowns. They asked him, please take off your clothes. Did he take everything off? No one knows. Some things just better left to the imagination. This is still a family story. They said, here's your clothes. What do you say? Aren't they gorgeous? Don't they make your day? Well, the emperor looked and he fell mute standing there in, in his birthday suit didn't see any shirt didn't see any pants 
Still, he didn't want to take a chance. If he didn't agree, if he stopped and stammered, they'd say he was dumb as a bucket of hammers. Better just to bluff your way through it. Worked pretty well so far, never admit you're wrong. Strategy used to this day by people in positions of power. Just a story, just a story. So instead of saying what he saw with his eyes, he smiled and said, I'm so surprised. Dress me now, I'm ready to go. Let's get on with the parade, I got a lot to show. Indeed you do, muttered a guard to himself, who decided the discretion was the better part of survival. He was employed. It's a powerful thing having a job. Well, they got him dressed in a manner of speaking. All the guards and soldiers, they couldn't help peeking. With everybody ready, they opened the gates. He walked out of the castle in his natural state. Trumpets blaring, calling attention to something most had never seen and hoped to never see again. Meanwhile, our two scalawags slipped out the back door of the castle. After depositing their money in an offshore bank, last seen somewhere in the vicinity of the Grand Caymans. People were lying in the streets and things were hopping. The emperor came out, I started popping. They expected robes and the finest weaving. What they saw instead was beyond believing. But everybody had heard about the magic threads. So they kept their mouths shut, which is, of course, the point of the whole story and how the truth can be right in front of your face, but you're afraid to admit it. Once you buy into a story, it's hard to let it go. Cognitive dissonance running rampant through the streets of the empire. So no one spoke, no one laughed. The emperor thought he felt a draft, thought he felt a zephyr. A puff, a breeze, from up to his neck to below his knees, and all the uncharted territory in between, including his little hands. Well, it looked like the old boy just might make it, and there was some little kid, though, who wouldn't fake it. He said, look at the emperor, look at that. He's as naked as one of them little mole rats. Leave it to a child, untainted by the dominant paradigm, to speak truth to power. And then everybody heard him for a block and a half, and pretty soon they all started to laugh. And in a little while, from tower to spire, there was general mayhem through the whole empire. But the emperor kept walking, leading the parade, sleeping in the bed that he had made. The only way he knew how to get through it was say, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. That's the idea behind a big lie, you just keep saying it over and over again. What happened after that, I just don't know. Maybe they told him it was time to go. Maybe people didn't make a peep, all just acted like a bunch of sheep. Still, you can't rule without consent. Power isn't owned, it's lent. It's hard to order people around when they see your pants have fallen down. I mean, you can try. Always be a few sycophants. But the truth will out, as it appears to be happening even today. So that's the story. There ain't no more. You're probably wondering just what it's for. I'll tell you. Though you may not care if it's a shoe that fits, it's one we ought to wear. But I'm not saying anything more. Because a good storyteller trusts his audience to draw their own conclusions. So like somebody else said, take it easy, but take it. Oh yeah. <laughs> It has been a while since we played that one. I figured it was the right time to play it. That was The Emperor's New Clothes, Talking Blues by Bill Harley. That could apply to a number of different people. 
if you know what I mean. All right. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. We are almost out of time on the Radioactive Kids show for today. So I want to thank y'all so much for listening to the show. We have a, a, a few more songs left. We're going to play... Um, a brand new album by a brand new kids artist. This is their first kids album. Uh, it is Sam Tasui and Casey Breves. They have a new album out now called Why Do We Sing? We're going to play a few songs from that to finish us off. We're going to play Why Do We Sing, the title track, uh, Showtime, and Suni on Radioactive Kids. And then we're probably going to have a little bit of time left over, so we're just going to play something else. And I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. We're going to find out together. So, yeah, it, it, I'm, I'm just going to like pick it after this song because I, I don't know how much time we'll have left. Anyway... Thank you so much for listening to the show. It has been great hanging out with y'all once again on the air. I will be off next week, so I will be uh, bringing a an, an archive episode to you. So just stay tuned for that. I don't know what it will be yet, but I'm sure it will be awesome. And I'll be back the week after next. So this is Radioactive Kids. And as always, I will see you on the radio next week. La 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 Great question. You can sing to show what you feel inside. Happy, silly, sad, all get a song. When your feelings and the world collide, just find a melody and sing along. There's a song for you and a song for me. When we sing them out, they can set up. On stage, a solo, a duet, a trio, or a choir. Oh, yeah. You can sing for fun. fun, you can fight for change, you can sing to entertain or to inspire. There's a song for you, and a song for me. There's a million things that a song can be. songs that make you want to dance. There are songs that make you want to cry. There are songs you shout. There are songs you hum. There are songs that belong to the people and the places that we come from. Songs are stories. Songs are art. Songs are parts of us. Connecting heart to heart. They can move you. Make you fly. Make you run. Make you see there's a reason to sing every day. And hey, there's a song for everyone. There's a song for you and a song for me. When we sing them out, they can set us free. Why do we kiddo time for bed no just one more song one more song was three songs ago it's bedtime oh, it's not bedtime it's show time sing along and let's go time jump up and get no time hey, hey. i'm not gonna sleep tonight it's show time all our colors can go time hush
Then a party after You say it's bedtime But who asked ya? Sit down, grab your popcorn I was born to perform Yeah Choo choo cha Clock spin I'm not ready for nobody Trying to talk me in I'm so full of energy Let's ride it. Ah, ah, ah. Ha, if you choose me, our love song would be so much better. When we get married, we'll sing this duet together. Ah, ah. I'll give you music and bliss. The band will play when we kiss. I can hear it now. And it goes like this
voice is more impressive That's why you must choose me ah, 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 ah. <laughs> His voice is fine, but trust me, mine is more exciting Low notes like thunder And my high notes are like lightning I'm 